The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. <clears throat> okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We have to take a look at the crude oil folks here over the last five days uh, on a 13-minute chart just to show you how perfect this market is, folks. If you like ABCDs, I mean, I look at this. A, B, C, D, absolutely perfectly backs off exactly to the 61% retracement middle of the night last night. Boom, all the way up, makes a 1.618 expansion. Look at the ABCDs on the way up, folks. I mean, it's just really amazing. I know the LA Wave people, they, they have certain numbers for these things. We just call them ABCDs, and that's pretty much what you're looking at here. Now, what I wanted to show you, folks, is uh, one of the trades that we had set up for today, and that was in the uh, crude oil. Uh, let's try it again, Larry. <laughs> the soybean oil. Uh, we sent out this uh, early this morning, and we were looking at this market. We had a nice high up here. We backed off, and we were waiting for it to come down to the 50 level. It got down to 49.80 and is now about 100 points higher. That's uh, $600 in dollars and cents terms. Now you're at a break even, and your profit objective on this, if the, got, the trading gods are with you, is going to be pretty substantial because you have another ABCD pattern moving up into this area here, which would be all the way up to 52.40, folks. That means you're risking $300 to make $1,200. That's, that's what the whole purpose of you know the trading is, is to put the odds in your favor and have a nice run. And sometimes they happen, sometimes they don't. But the best one for today has to be, remember, folks, we've been watching this gold and silver. Let's do the gold first because what we did was we changed our strategy a little bit in the video this morning. I'll show you it right here. This is what we were looking at. Here's uh, the gold. We, we had a... Uh, you know, the low we had here on Friday was uh, 1936. The low today was 1935.60. We went below it by 40 cents. We've had a little bit of a rally now. We've rallied about oh 12 bucks, oh 15, 17 dollars up to this level right here. We're probably going to be right at a 38% retracement of of this move right here. Let's just double see. Uh, no, it's the, oh it must be off the other one. Hold on, just a because if it's moving that fast, that's usually what it does. We'll bring it up here. Yeah, there it is. There was your 3.8. Oh, stop it, Larry. There was your 3.82 coming in here at 51. But we, we saw this three drive pattern coming in here. Okay, now our number we were looking for, you remember the 3.82 was 1944. We went below that, but I said, and I, I totally screwed this one up, folks. I bought it a little bit higher than that, ended up getting stopped out, but it should have been bought at 44 with a $10 stop, so you never would have been stopped out, and now you'd have a $600 profit. But on further review of the financial markets, including silver, if we took a look at the silver market, you're going to see something totally different here. In silver, look what it did. It came down and went to the exact 61% retracement here at 31.93, 21.93. And we bought it at uh, 22 uh, even, and now it's at 22.31. So it's got a $1,500 profit in it. Now you lock in a $400 profit, cross your fingers, and see where it goes. That's all you can do, really, because this has got everything in it that you could possibly ask for, folks. There's your ABCD leg right there, coming in right at the 61% retracement. And if you can close it above, the high today has been 39. If you can close it above 2240, that would be a really good sign that it's on its way. It's better than having a loss. Let's put it that way. So we had two really nice winners uh, there. We also had a really nice winner in the S&P to start off with. It uh, looked like it was going to be a, a no-brainer. Let's get back to that for just a second here because I want to talk to us where we are with the stock market. I think we're at a real critical junction here, folks. Let's get up here to take a quick look at this. Hold on one second. Shut the front door and raise it around here. Let me get this up here to see where we are. 
Okay, now that is the E-mini. Yes, this is, you notice that we made a higher high here by just a little bit. When you look at this on the daily, and this is what I was looking at. Remember when I talked Friday about uh, Apple being at that uh, 186.42? Look at this. We made a higher high by just a little bit. We went to 36.75 today. The high on Friday was 34 and a quarter. Thir excuse me, 35.50. We didn't even go one point higher, folks, on the day. Now we're, we're uh, down just a little bit from where we were. But what we're watching for is if this is correct, and this is, you know, a 61% a a retracement. And remember, we went through, if you remember, I'll do this for you folks here that haven't seen this before because we do it on, there's the cycle. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in the moon phases. And then if you'll follow me along here, just over the, when you see this move right here, see that, follow the, the cross here. When you see a, a open circle, that's a full moon. When you see it, Red circle, it's a new moon. Look, look how close they are, folks, to within one day of the high or low. I mean, it's just, it's just truly amazing. Now, all you have to do is you, you, you want to get to a place where, look at this, how it makes a higher high right over a new moon. Look what we're doing today, higher high over a new moon. You got to look to be a seller. Shut the front door, raise the rent. Go back and pr prove to these yourself. They're going to be within a day or two. On almost all of them, not all of them, but almost all of them. There's a few in there. This is one here right here. See, the, there's your full moon right here. Oh, it's actually only one day off. It's only one day off of there, so that's not too far off. But there were a few in here that did. Man, there's another. They're really good. I mean, I just, uh, and I, there, there's one, just three days up and then boom, down again. It lasts for about four or five days, but by golly, when it turns, and you've got a number. If you've got a fib number there at the same time, then you've got something that you can uh, hang your hat on, and that's what you're really trying to do as you're uh, un looking at some of these things here today. Now, we had another one last night that looked like it was going to be really interesting. Let's get this up here and show you. This is the, uh, this is the good old euro, and uh, we were looking to be a seller up here, and uh, we went up a little bit higher than what I expected it to do, but not by much. You'll see here. There was your 382, or your, uh, there's your high today. Came all the way down and then all the way back up. So had you done that, it had been basically a, a break-even trade, but you've completed this small ABCD pattern, I believe. Let's just double check here. Uh, nope, it's a little higher than that. Oh, my God, it's a lot higher than that. What are you talking about? Uh, that is a huge, oh, this is wrong. Just a second. I can tell you right now, you'll see here. See, this is set at 127, and it's got to be set at, at equal because that's A, B equals C, D. There's A, B equals C, D measures up here. So I'll take a look at the maybe you're up in this area right here, but right now I just don't have any interest in it. You know, the, the soybean oil that we did is just doing really well. The, the silver's doing extremely well. S&P, eh, that's okay. And uh, then we had uh, uh, one other one that was a beauty, but doggone it. It was a real frustrating one. Let me show it to you folks. Here is the Treasury bonds. We got to take a break here to pay a few bills for TFNN, and we'll be right back, folks. 877 927 6648. Stay tuned. We got some stuff on bonds that's real interesting. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education. Investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted a chart here. It's an hourly chart of the Treasury bonds going back to the low that it made on the 23rd of October, that 107 level, if you'll remember. Now, what I want you to see is look closely at this because over the last four or five days, we've only been able to come down and almost make a 382 retracement twice. The low the other day was 112.12. The low today was 112.12. So we tried it twice. The 382 is 112.08. We're now almost a full handle above that. Now, there were some nice trades in here just over the last short period of time that we were watching. Because look at this perfect A, B, C, D. These are the kind of trades that we're going to be focusing here on the 15th, folks. I'm pretty excited about that. I'm going to be doing a hell of a lot more trading than I am teaching. But in between the teaching, what I'm going to be doing is uh, putting these trades on. Today we had uh, three. We had four trades, uh, three winners, one break even. And we're hoping to do that well uh, when we come in on the 15th. So we'll have to have to wait and see but remember this is the 13th which is the uh, full moon so we're gonna ah, let's try it again Larry it's a new moon <laughs> anyway we're gonna be doing that too and I you know about the astrology folks <laughs> you know I, I I respect the heck out of it and I know what's there because I've seen the Bradley model I've gone through all this stuff before the problem is that I get down to what really determines what I do for a living, and that is try to do risk control. You know, that's really all I try to do. I, I know ABCDs work 60% uh, of the time. Yeah, but what happens when you get an ABCD like this? When you got one that just goes A, B, C, and then boom, it has something like this. I mean, what do you do with that? I mean, you, you lose. That's it. That's one of those that you don't go. I mean, you, you can't do it. Here's one that doesn't quite fit. Look at this one here. You got a really nice A, B, C, D here. There's A, B right there and C, D right there. Look at that. And it comes within. How far does it miss it by? This is 15, 27. It misses it by more than $300. To me, that's you can't do much with that, you know, because you 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 wouldn't have gotten filled up in here. You would have had to wait for something like this to get in it. But, you know, that's what we're going to be watching is just to find some of these that uh, give us some. of This is a nice one. Now, what we should be looking at here in the bonds, the fact that we got to this level. OK, now, if this is correct, if this is still bearish, we should not get above the 382. So we're going to come down here and look at this. 
This is the high we made back on the 8th. Okay, we're going to clear all of this out. Now, we know we've made a double bottom in here. We made one here, and we made one here. So this is a double bottom. So you've got a new – is that true that it made a lower low by one tick? No. No, match the low, 112.12. So that means we've got, we made a 50% retracement. Now, on this one, will it make a 382 off of that? So we want to be putting that in right here. So there's your key to be watching the Treasury bonds right there, folks. 113.16, right there. See, that's the 382 off of this move right up here. So this is, this is how you control your risk the best you can. All right? Now, if you look at that, Look at it closely from your high right here to your low right there. You're going to see the line coming in. Where is it at? Hold on. Stop the music right there. The uh, 382 is right here, okay? The 78% level is right there. So you're looking at 13, 113.16 and a half. Your 786 is 113.21. So that's six pips. Uh, 300 and uh, 180 bucks that means if you get this thing above uh, 113 22 okay that would be another six uh, 10 ticks off of that something's wrong so if you get above this 78 percent level and this is doesn't hold it that means that this thing is could have legs and why because both of these lows were almost exactly 0.382 and if we look at this on the daily basis, or four hour, four hour will be good enough. Look at this. I mean, this is really amazing. All the little bit of a pullback we've had here, because there's our big low right down here. You're going to see that 382 again. I'm going to draw it in, so you'll be able to see it. There it is. You see how it misses it by just a hair's breadth. Goes back, takes out the lows here by just a little bit. Held right here. This has got a possibility of doing it because if you look at this on the daily, remember. This is where we're shooting for our big 382 is up here. This is 117.15 because there's your potential 382 right here, correct? Here's one that failed. You see that 382? That didn't take you long to take your loss. So that's what, we're, that's what we're watching here. The reason why, folks, is right here. You see this weekly that we did? There's the 135 pattern. Let's get this up here. I love trading bonds. It was Mark's favorite, and uh, I still love them too. But uh, there was our low. We were expecting it to get 117.05. The low was 117.04. Now we're at uh, 117.04. Uh, and here we are up here at 113.04. And what we're watching here is we could easily – remember, this is a really long-term bear market, and we have hadn't had a real good rally – we could easily look at something like this in the bonds. Let's just get this out of the way so you can see it again. You could match that swing right there, and that's going to take you up to 123. That's 10,000 American dollars from where we are now, folks. Now, that's not going to happen overnight, but it's a possibility. And not only that, that's still a really bear market, really. So what we do is we blow this up here. And go back and look at something way back here that might tell us that this level right here would be an important 3A2. My first spot would be right here where the market really broke down from, right there. So I would look at that, and there it is. Well, that, that comes in at 126. Wow, 127. So let's go back even farther to the big high right back here. And uh-oh, we've got someone from the classroom is uh, ringing the bell. Hold on one second. And give me one second to get over here and see what's on. And we got Michael from Niagara Falls. Michael, what can I help you with, my friend? Yeah, hi. I'm, I'm sitting in the last row of your lecture hall. And uh, <laughs> I was wondering if you could look at the XAU. XAU, you betcha. That's yes, something to sir. do with gold. I know that from the old chemical. Yeah, uh, and I'm just wondering what's your gut feeling? We're going to have a end-of-year tax loss selling dump. We already had that. The September 2022 lows of 90. Uh -oh, or do I'm you think uh, we start moving up now? I think we're going to start moving up. I can't get the XAU up for some reason. I don't get that data, so it's not a big deal. But the gold I can show you, and that's what it is. So let's get the gold up here. Shouldn't be any trouble. Hopefully, if I can find the darn thing, it's with all the other yeah, things. But normally, that I'm the at. equities lead the bullion. Okay. Oh, uh, Bubba. Hey. Normally, look, it look, does. Yeah. So, Mike. Oh, how about the GDX? 
No, no. I let G, oh, GDX, GDX. I can do, but uh, yeah. I, I don't. Equities I don't think always uh, lead the bullion. Always is not a good word for trading, Bubba. Let me tell you that right now. It's maybe, not always. Okay. <laughs> All right, here's where we are right now. This is a perfect buy signal if you want to buy GDX gold miners right now. There it is. There's a perfect Gartley pattern right there today. That's why we bought silver and the gold. We bought silver instead of gold, but there it is right there. Perfect A, B, C, D. We should have a rally. And if it's a really good one, and if it's a really good rally, we could get all the way up here to around 30, around 10% higher. Hope that helps, buddy. Is that okay? Uh, that's it. Just a $3 move, that's it. Well, $3 is 10%. 10% of gold would be 200 uh, Oh, A, B equals C, Z, I understand. Okay, I see the move. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. All right, buddy. Thanks a lot. Yaksimash. Dobje. Thank you, Mike. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. Stay tuned. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're on with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Jeff, how are you doing? I'm great, Larry. How are you? <laughs> I'm laughing, Jeff, because you were talking here about the government shutdown November 17th. And this morning, real early, it was about 3.30 or 4 o'clock, I turned on Bloomberg, and I saw where Woody's had sent a, a warning risk to a AAA credit. And I misread it. It was Moody's, not Woody's. <laughs> I thought maybe Woody, <laughs> Woody Harrelson had become a, a – uh, 
you know, a uh, market analyst or something. So when I saw this this morning, it reminded me of it. I was laughing to myself this morning. I said, oh, my God, I must be getting old to, to think that Woody Harrelson would be doing anything. What do you think is going to happen on a government shutdown? Are they going to fix this thing? I, they've always fixed it in the past, haven't they? Yeah, you know, um, they got to arrive at a budget accord, and I think they're basically dealing with the exact same set of problems that they were dealing with, uh, you know, 45 days ago yeah. when they had a different Speaker of the House. Now they get a different guy who's in charge, but it's the same people in Congress, and they can't they can't agree on the uh, uh, the color of uh, dog poop for all practical purposes. So, yeah. um, you know, I, I don't see this uh, getting resolved permanently, but possibly a a uh, kicking the can down the road until January could be accomplished. Uh, if it's not accomplished, I think that Moody's credit watch uh, change to negative will be a downgrade next week uh, if they're not able to put it together. Yeah. Folks, one of the reasons why I asked Jeff to come on today, because he follows, uh, you know, these overbought, oversold indicators. And I have a very dear friend over in the UK who's an incredible stock trader. And he is very, very nervous about U.S. stocks because of the fact that there's more call buying now than he's ever seen. And he's been doing this a long time. Are you seeing the same thing, Jeff? Exactly what I'm seeing. Um, you know, total notional call volume hit the highest level since the July 27th market top, which was the highest level ever, okay? Prior to that, it was a big spike after NVIDIA announced that they had uh, oh, yeah. beat their revenue expectations and raised guidance because of their new AI chip. Uh, and that got everybody very, very excited. But, you know, there really isn't anything new or fundamentally that's changed. Uh, we just basically have a lot of people that are very, very excited about the stock market right now. Everybody's bought into the idea of a year-end rally, and, and I'm not discounting it entirely. I just think it's too early to buy into that. But, you know, yeah. it looks like uh, call buyers are all in with a risk-on approach. Well, I, I, uh, I don't know much about puts and calls, but I know is when you get too many people on one side of the market, that's not a good thing. The only way is up. The only way is down. I've been there before. That's for sure. Now, let's. we've had this tremendous rally since the 27th of October, and you've got a really great thing on uh, survey uh, optimism and stuff. What, what, what are you seeing here, Jeff, with these green and red lines, bars? Yeah, so um, the AAII is the American Association of Individual Investors, and they do a uh, survey of investor sentiment every Wednesday, and they publish the results. And so the last published result was last Wednesday, uh, where they saw a dramatic spike up in uh, bulls, basically. Those investors that they surveyed that described themselves as bullish jumped from 24% to 42%, and those that described themselves as bearish fell from 50% to 27%. Now, here's the really interesting thing. If you subtract the bears from the bulls, we are now at about 15.5%. That's jumped from negative 25%. So we've basically seen a 40% move to the upside in net bullish uh, opinion out there. And that is extremely rare when that happens and uh, usually coincides with a market top of at least you know, uh, you know, some small degree, uh, but oftentimes at a major turning point. Wow, that's really incredible how you do all the statistics. Uh, you're a magician at this, what you bring to us, because you just don't see it in the news too much. Now, you talk about this, a broad market top uh, from uh, 11 8, 21. that uh, very interesting top, as I recall. Two years ago, uh, last week, basically, the broad market top, we saw the value line geometric index top on that date. We saw the Russell 2000 top on that date. And we saw a number of other indexes top right around that time, including the NASDAQ, which I think topped on the 21st of uh, November uh, two years ago. And so, you know, this is the performance we've seen over the subsequent two years. And, and what we're looking at is banks are down 44%. Retail's down 38%. The Russell 2000 is down 28%. The value line's down 25%. Small caps are down 24%. Mid caps are down 16 The equal weight S&P 500, uh, that's down 13%. Uh, the Russell 3000, which is the most investable index, is down 7 
The S&P cap weight index is down 6%, and even the NASDAQ 100 is down 5%. The only thing that's up is one- to three-month T-bills, which are up 5.5% over that two-year period. So clearly cash has been king uh, over this period. The question is, what what will work going forward? And we do not believe that this bear market is over. We think that there's at least one more leg to the downside, possibly several. Yeah, it certainly looks a little scary, that's for sure. Jeff, what do you think is wrong with the Russell? I looked at the charts over the weekend, and I literally, when I saw the Russell chart, I, I said, this can't be true. I said, we just had a 900-point rally in the Dow Jones, and the Russell went down? I mean, when, yeah. when have you ever seen that? Well, you, what happens is all these companies are very, very leveraged. They've got a lot of debt on their balance sheet, and interest rates – especially for low-quality borrowers, have moved up dramatically. And so it's really reflective of, uh, you know, poor poor balance sheets. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. So it's related to debt, too, in other words. Uh, mm hmm Because I know that a lot of those uh, Russell things are, are – aren't there's, a lot of those oil companies are in that Russell, aren't they, that, that borrow That's a lot true. of money? Uh, REITs, yeah. uh, small-cap oil, uh, financials, a lot of small banks. Wow. That's a, that's truly a, truly amazing. Well, I think the most amazing statistic to me is the fact that I've been following an Apple, which I've never traded the stock. I bought a call in it once, and uh, it was one of the few times the earnings went the other way. But but anyway, the reason why is that the Apple hit the exact 61% retracement Friday at 186. Uh, 46. Yeah. I happened to be doing the show when it was happening at that time, and I said that should be the high in Apple. And with the market going back and making new high, higher highs last night and today, Apple is still down a buck and a half. So that, as long as that doesn't get above 160, 186, I still think we got a chance for some type of correction coming in this market. It might only be two or three days, but it could be a doozy. Well, um, since you mentioned it, um, you know, we are actually calling for a market top today. And we did make a slight new high, both in the futures and the cash index. Sure did. This is uh, Friday's high. Uh, yeah. Friday's close was 44.15 and change. We had been calling for a 61% retracement of the decline off the uh, July 27th high. And, uh, you know, we got it. That was 44.15. And the yeah. reason that we've been say, saying that is because the cycle composite has been uh, spot on in terms of, you know, uh, marking the turning point in the S&P 500. Jeff, we got to pay a few bills. Could you stay with us one more segment? Sure, absolutely. We'll be right back, folks. Jeff Huge, Alpha Insight. Stay with us, folks. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, speaking with Jeff Huge, Alpha Insights, and you're talking about this uh, Elliott Wave count. And you, you really believe we're going to take out the lows of October the 27th, Jeff? Uh, I do. Um, in fact, um, we're Ooh. looking at two different counts. We've got a preferred count, which I'm showing, uh, which lines up really well with this cycle composite that I was just mentioning. And we put some vertical red dashed lines in there. And those yeah, are marked the Montgomery cycle turn dates, which have also been very, very specific uh, lining up with that cycle composite count as well. And you can see, that, you know, the the uh, uh, October uh, 14th was actually the 17th. We got a top October 28th. It's actually the 27th marked the bottom. We think November 13th today marks the next high. So we should see a downturn from here. If our preferred count's correct, we should see a big plunge down to around uh, 3,800 or so. Uh, by November 27th. However, that's if two weeks. Counts not correct. You know, there's a possibility that things could make a slightly higher low, and so we put an alternate count out as well, which I can show you on the next slide. Okay. Wow. The, Jack, Jeff, I've never heard you make such a startling prediction. You're talking about a real break here between now and uh, Thanksgiving. Yeah, I think it's possible, okay. especially if right. we were to have. If, if we did have a downgrade of the U.S. debt, uh, that would be, you know, something that would would aid that process, no doubt about uh -huh. it. And uh, that would come if they're not able to come up with a budget accord here. Now, if they are, if things do work out a little bit better than planned, then perhaps what we're seeing today is just, you know, the, the peak of, of wave A of an ABC corrective waveform. And the downtrend will be a plunge as well, but it won't quite take out the October 27th low. It'll be a higher low, but also uh -huh. bottoming around November 27th. And then a okay. potential year-end rally to around, say, 4,500 yeah. on the S&P, which is the 78.6% retracement of the decline off the uh, uh -huh. July high. Oh, that would be the last get-out-of-dodge place you want to get in then, boy, if it's January. And uh, January is turning, uh, turning points for a lot of... Uh, different years in the stock market, that's for sure. I guess it's from people planning or whatever it happens to be. Uh, okay, now I believe, uh, is an, I think, is that the main one? That, let's talk about your wonderful letter. Folks, let me give you a little uh, little heads up here. He writes a newsletter. I think it's $12 a month. It's one of the best, if not the best letter. Of course, after mine, I was a joke. Anyway, you, you're, the, the statistics that you cover and the way that you do it, Jeff, is just phenomenal. It's worth every single penny. So uh, tell the folks how they can get it. Yeah, you know, sign up at uh, hugeinsights.substack.com. We publish the first Saturday of every month. Uh, we, we put in a little uh, creative writing flair this last month. We talked about uh, the economic dial of de destiny, uh, where we use kind of the uh, anti-Kythera uh, mechanism as kind of an analog for 
uh, cycle prediction, and, and this was something that began back in the second uh, century B.C., uh, kind of a takeoff of the recent uh, Indiana Jones movie. You're an Indiana Jones fan, but, you know, we go through uh, a lot of top-down macro stuff and, um, you know, the big influences of the market, and then we go through our, our market uh, uh, forecast, and we also talk about geopolitics quite a bit and the influence of geopolitics on the markets as well. And so um, a lot of people like that section specifically because we hit on very current events and try and stay, you know, very objective in the analysis. But in the very end, we give you some very specific ideas to invest in, and, uh, you know, uh, our ideas tend to pay off. So um, people that subscribe to our newsletter, you can you can pay uh, $25 a month or $150 for the year. That's like $12.5 a month if you, uh, you get 50% off if you subscribe for yeah. the year. But, um, you know, we've got, I think, almost 1,000 paid subscribers now and 6,000 people oh, that get the good. free version. So. It's a pretty popular newsletter, and uh, I get a lot of positive feedback from our our readers. You should, should, for sure. I have the quick story about uh, Indiana Jones. 1981, my kids were 12 and 13, and they wanted to go to Hollywood to see it. So I looked at the thing, and uh, I forget the two guys, that, the very famous guys that were giving it reviews, and they deadpanned it. They said, this, is, this isn't this is going nowhere. And so I said, okay, I'll take you down to her and their, their two little buddies. So they took four little girls, and I drove them down to Hollywood. And we get there to Grumman's Theater. Jeff, it went around the block three times to get to the movie. That's how that's how popular it was. I said, oh, God, did these guys ever bomb? And I saw the movie, and I really, I've been a big fan of his ever since, because uh, Harrison and I are the, the same age, 39. Hey, listen, thanks for joining us, buddy, but uh, we'll, we'll have you on, and I'll tell you what, if you're right about this Thanksgiving thing, uh, I will uh, I will do a special program. I'll give you an extra five minutes the next time we uh, we get you on the air, but that's one hell of a prediction, pal. I can see it happening. We'll it'll take it, some type of a... We'll see if it a, comes a, a, fast, Larry. I'll take you up on that extra five minutes. <laughs> you bet. But uh, boy, that that would really. I, you know, some people have given me some big predictions in the past. That would be one of the biggest. But it's going to take an outlier event to get it down there. But it's certainly possible because what goes up can also come down very, very quickly. So thanks for joining us, my friend. I I really do appreciate it. My pleasure. You bet. Jeff Huge, Alpha Insights, folks. A great monthly newsletter. I think I have all of his information lined up here so you'll be able to see it. His website is jwinvestment.com. Uh, Twitter, you know, I don't even have a Twitter account myself, uh, at alpha uh, under slash insights and then Substack. Don't have that either. Huge insights at Substack.com. So he's got some great information in there, as you all know, because we have him on every two weeks, and he's been pretty doggone good at what he's looking at. Okay, now let's get back to the markets here. Come on up here. We'll get another chart up so we'll be able to see it and talk a little bit more about what we're seeing here in the markets. We'll get this uh, window up and put the screen in. And then we're ready to go here. I wanted to cover one other market as we'll get up here. You see, this is the uh, this is the uh, number we were looking at up here in the crude oil. It's backed off about 50 points. No big deal. It's doing nothing. Well, it's doing something. It went down a little bit. That's a good sign. If you did that, you'd be at break even. That's for sure. You don't have to risk anything now. Okay, let's take a look here at this stop. And, uh, oh, look at this. Oh, you got to love this. Let's share it with the folks here. Look at this. Now we're up here on the doggone silver starting to move, shaking and baking. Let's get it up on a little eight minute. And there's where our bottom was right down there. The buy was right there. And there it is right now. So that's moving really good. And so let's hopefully that will continue working in our direction because this is, folks, a flat out, Bonafide, bake it any way you want to, Gartley pattern. There's your low. There's your 61% retracement. There's your ABCD to the downside. In fact, it's a double ABCD if you look at it real closely, and we will. There's your first one, A, B, C, D, and then you have another one, A, B, C, D. And if you take that out, what you would be able to see is you'd be able to see a very nice one, two, three, one, two, three. Three drive to a bottom pattern right in here. But there's the one I wanted you to see. It That hasn't popped up yet. There's your AB leg right there. Uh, this would have went a little bit lower, but this is the, remember, mathematics precedes geometry. This is the kind of trade that I hope we get on uh, hope. Oh, what a terrible, what a terrible 
trading word that is. But anyway, we're going to be looking for something like this on the 15th, okay? Hey, let's take a break. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I have a November 13th a story back in the old days of uh, Drexel Burnham Lambert. And uh, I, I was, uh, it was Hollywood uh, Gold Cup Day. It was a uh, Sunday. And uh, we had our usual table of eight uh, seats all filled up. There was one empty seat. And we had a, some movie stars there. I'm not going to name drop, except Vince Edwards, who was my buddy, uh, was there. And we were chit chatting. We were waiting for the other people to come in. And he says to me, he says, Hey, Larry, he's looking over at Ruben's. Reuben was a mater d, and he was trying to can tell this guy, this tall, good-looking guy, that uh, they didn't have any more seats. He kept shaking his head, and he said, "Do you recognize him?" I said, "My God!" I said, "The only one person, the only person that's more popular him is the one that hangs on the cross over the Catholic Church." It was Paul Horning, of the Green Bay Packers, 
and I went over to Ruben and I said, Ruben, I introduced myself to him. I said, we've got some friends over here that would like to meet you. I said, they're out of work actors, I said, but you're going to enjoy the day. And he said, yeah, he sounds great. So he came over. And, of course, Vince Edwards was a big fan of him, and they became very good friends. But we had a really wonderful time that day, and it was November the 13th. And that happened to be the date that Paul Horning passed away three years ago in his hometown of Louisville, Kentucky. He was a really nice guy. Folks, he didn't have a uh, proud bone in his body. That was one humble human being. Let's get back to this bean oil trade that we were looking at here talking about some of the stuff we're going to be talking about. You see this big run-up right here? Whenever you see this, watch for a 382 retracement, folks. This doesn't even come close, but when you do get it, uh, this would they would have been here. This was about uh, what's well, only 10 pips off, but you can see now. But now you're objecting. We're up $1,000 on this, folks, with another – Another thousand to go. So just keep your stop at break even. At least lock in a grand here. That's what you want to do. Okay? Let's take a break. We'll see you tomorrow. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude. May God bless. Bye.